hello beautiful people so today i'm going to be showing you guys how i made this bustier with a structural upper chest then i designed it with this uh, surface cording that is raining so i used a velvet and i designed it with um what's it called um stones so this is how it looks on me so this is it with a structural surface so i'm just going to go straight to the tutorial so please guys like and subscribe to my channel god bless you as to do that so let's get straight to the tutorial so the first thing first you are going to be taking your vertical lines as usual you have to create your basic bodies first so basic bodies is very very important if you are a beginner and you are watching this video you have to create your basic bodies first so first you'll be taking from your shoulder to your boss point from your shoulder to your under boss from your shoulder to your waist shoulder to the length of how you want it to be then i'm going to start by taking my neck which is 3.5 inches width by 3 inches length so i'm just going to mark like so if you don't know how to make your basic bodies i think i have a video in my um, description box so you can go and watch it then from that my shoulder point i'll go down by one inches and then just create my lines so that point i came by one inches are connected to the neck point i have a better video of this if you are a beginner so you can go and watch that video so this straight line i just made is my ham o point so i'll take my arm o which is 16 inches divided by two will give me eight so i'm just going to mark it like so and then rule a line so this line i'm rolling will be my upper chest point so to create my arm oh i'll find the midpoint and go inward by three inches then connect these three points together this mark i'm marking is my round boss measurement so i can create my arm o so my round boss 36 divided by four then i'm just going to connect it like so this three line so i can get my arm o curve so i'm just going to rule it like so and mark so if i'm too fast in this video please go and go back to my description box and look for a video of how to create a basic body if you're a beginner because the first step for you to create this style you need to know your basic bodies so next i'm just going to take my round balls divide by four so pause and read what i wrote my waist divided by four so for my waist i want it to be snatched so i'm just going to remove three inches from my waist my waist is 20 sorry 30 30 i'll remove three inches from it which give me 26 then 26 divided by four because i want it to be snatched so i remove 20 i'll remove three inches for the front and three inches for the back that means i'm removing 16 inches and in, six inches in total because i want my waist to be very very snatched i want it to be very tight if you see the video you see that it's very 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 tight on me so i want it to be so just the waist points that was why i removed this so next i'm going to take my nipple to nipple your nipple to nipple is divided by two if you don't know what a nipple to nipple is you can check on google so you see a picture of what a nipple to nipple is then i'm just going to mark like so and connect it to the end line then i'll take it upward also so at the shoulder point i'll find the midpoint of my shoulder divide that by two and connect it to this nipple to nipple point as you can see me doing in the video so i connected that line like so so after doing that next is for us to find our boss that so different between your front and your back is your boss that so uh, my mine is two inches so you measure yours and find yours so after getting the two inches i divide that to point into two so that's my that so next now is the waist point i'm going to take half inches and um, one inches to the right one inches to the left I'll do the same thing to the waist points and at the other boss points i'll take one inches there and then i'll connect to the bust points like so so after connecting i'll take it down straight to the end line as you can see me doing so now i have like a diamond shape after taking my dart so this is how it's going to look so i'm just going to slash this my neck point open so that i can close this my boss point as you can see me doing in the video so i have to rush this part guys so sorry so i'm just going to mark it like so so after marking this is how it's going to be i've closed my boss that as you can see so you can see the shoulder point is open the shoulder point is open because i'm trying to create that um arc that structure 
upper chest as you can see in the video so after slash closing my boss that as you can see i use a paper tape to do that then i measure the width or the distance i got 2.5 so we might not be the same thing so make sure you measure yours after doing this don't follow my exact figure measure yours after doing this so i divided that figure into two then i place it on the right side which is 1.1 inches like so on the right side of my chest so i'll connect it to this my upper chest line just follow exactly what i'm doing in the video so i'll repeat it again after slashing my shoulder open i divided that figure by two so i place it on the right side of the shoulder and the left side of the shoulder as you can see me doing in the video so you can pause and read what i wrote so you get a better understanding so now to create that upper chest i went upward by six inches so guys if you don't want yours to be too if you notice my from the picture you can see is very very high so if you don't want yours to eye to be high like that do not go up by six inches go up by four or three inches depending on how uh, structured you want it to be so i want mine to be high that was why i went upward by six inches so i'm trying to create that structure so that points where i came out of by 1.5 inches remember after dividing the open space into two i extended it so i can create my arm o curve again because if you use the former arm o curve you know, you're not going to get a proper um um bustier so you have to create a new a new um arm o so i extended from the main arm o by 1.25 inches as you can see me doing in the video so i'm just going to close it like so so i can create that hack that structure arc like that i want so from the upper chest as you can see from my own it was revealing like showing the boobs area so if you don't want it to show the boobs area do not let the arc get to this upper chest line so your breast will not be revealing you can see from my video i just marked from this upper chest point then i connected it to that points as you can see me doing so if you don't want it to be showing your boobs area do not let it get to this upper chest line so from this upper chest line you can go upward by 1.5 then connect it to the arm area that's if you don't want it to be showing your um cleavage as you can see for my own so showing the cleavage so if you don't want to show the cleavage go upward by 1.5 inches so as you can see i folded it i folded that 1.1 inches point so i can properly get my structure so i'm going to cancel the former arm o that we have remember i extended from the old arm o by one inches that was how i got my new arm o curve so remember that and take notes so i'm just going to mark it like so i went a bit upward by half an inch because i wanted it to have like a better structure points but if you don't want to want to be high just leave it like that and just connect your arm all by the six inches points you came out from so i'm just taking my time to do this so i'll connect like so and meet the six inches points so if you don't want it to show your cleavage please at this upper chest point go upward by 1.5 because if you notice in my video it was showing the cleavage so if you don't want it to show the cleavage go upward by 1.5 and connect so this is how you create your structure upper chest bustier so i'm just going to mark so you can see it has formed that same um, hack so if you don't want it to have this two elongated long hack go up by four go up by three or two so you can see i'm cancelling the out the old arm o after extending from the old one by one inches remember take note of that so i'll cut this out so this is the end of this part so i'm just going to leave the sewing part in the description box so you can go and watch the sewing part so guys thank you so much for watching see you guys in the next video Thank you and God bless. Please like and subscribe to my channel. God bless you as you do that. Bye.